Okay, boys, gather around here and listen up. A common question I get all the time is, do VA loans have home requirements? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> the Department of Veteran Affairs utilizes a series of minimum property requirements, or MPRs, that a home must meet in order to qualify for a VA loan. These home requirements help ensure that veterans and military families have a safe, structurally sound, and sanitary place to call home. VA loan property requirements are assessed during the VA appraisal process. I hope I've still got it. MPRs cover basic issues that can affect the value of the property or its safety. These are mostly big ticket items that present immediate or near immediate problems for veterans and their families. Some big ticket items are working electric, heating and cooling systems, adequate roofing that will last the foreseeable future, sufficient in size for basic living necessities, clean, continuous water supply with sanitary facilities, free of lead-based paint, free of wood destroying insects, fungus and dry rot, safe and sanitary sewage disposal. Are you almost done? Yes. Accessible from an all-weather public or private street, attics and crawl spaces must be accessible and properly ventilated. You finished. Okay, let's dive deeper into big ticket item number one, heating systems, like solar or wood. Either or is required to meet certain standards and have more traditional backup systems as well. These are items that not only protect the marketability of the property, but also the safety and comfort of you as a buyer. Got it. In some climates, a heating system may not be needed, but that determination is left completely in the hands of the VA. Neither the seller nor the lender can make that call. Sir, you're out of order. I don't Other items such as roofs, termites, and ventilations fall under the NPRs. Specific requirements can vary based on the lender, local housing codes, and VA guidelines, plus more. Get it, Donnie, you're out of your element. Walter, the China. When it comes to a VA loan, keep in mind, appraisers are looking for potentially major issues that revolve around the three S's, safety, sanitation, and structural integrity. And this process is in place to protect the buyer against unexpected and usually expensive surprises. The VA wants homes that are moved in ready. It's all starting to make sense. Problems with the property generally have to be corrected before a loan closes, although veterans can secure exemptions for some NPRs. But in truth, these exe exemptions are more like extensions, as the problems will ultimately have to be corrected anyways. What are we going to do? Borrowers whose prospective property fails to meet the minimum property requirements will be hard pressed to secure VA financing. My question is, are we done? I know we covered a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and we can discuss the matter in further detail. As always, my name is Omar Pineda and allow me to elevate your lifestyle.